right, we're still in Galveston. This is Harborside. And uh, we're gonna go check out the pier. What's up guys? This is Rob Zip and you're watching The Most Epic Adventures. I'm down in Galveston, Texas. We're gonna go to the pier and see if this museum is open and if possible, even take a ride on a boat. Let's go check it out. So we got Olympia. It's complimentary parking down here. Well, not here. You got to pay to park. I'm still parked at the. Uh, I'm still parked at the railroad museum from earlier. That was free parking. I'd have been paying out the bus zoo. I'd have been paying like 20 bucks to park here. No thanks, dude. Uh, now you got Dolphin Baywatch tours. Holy shit. That sounds promising. Um, it's four o'clock now. Let's let's find out about this. I'll pay ten dollars to do this. So the Baywatch Dolphin Tours. You can buy your tickets here. It's every hour on the hour. It's a forty-five minute dolphin sightseeing ride. So, they are highly rated on TripAdvisor, at least in 2018 they were. They are in the Hall of Fame for TripAdvisor because they won 2014, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Yes. I'm not sure what happened in 19. We all know what happened in 2020. But you're right here at the pier. 21. And uh, she's, she's talking to someone who has a million questions. Hello. Um, I guess it's too late for the four o'clock. Yes. So is it's it... too late for the four o'clock. It's also too late for the five o'clock because I sold out of it. Okay. Um, and that's why I opened at six o'clock. So if y'all would like to get on our six o'clock, yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Okay. We're we're not together. No. 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Right. But we do. We okay. want to do it. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do it as well. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, All right. So the four o'clock is uh, it's too late for the four o'clock. The five o'clock is sold out. So I got a, a pass for six o'clock. So I have almost two hours to uh, to kill and hopefully not lose this laminated. Board. Hey, what's up, dude? Everybody wants to be in my videos. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so we'll just go down the pier and see what's going on. So we got the nice pier. You can see the the offshore platform out there. Usually those are those are pretty far out in the ocean. I don't know if they're about to ship that one out or something. These things are huge. And here's another uh, a jet boat thrill ride. They're also offering dolphin tours. But we've already we've already got ours. Competing companies. Oh, this jet boat. This is just like the jet boat I rode in Queenstown, New Zealand. The guy did uh, all kinds of turns and flips and stuff. It was expensive. I have no idea how much it is here, but it was expensive in New Zealand. And here's the uh, the Baywatch 2 to go out on your, your dolphin tours at night. And we've got the... We've got the we got the seagull whisperer here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this guy. He's just playing with the seagulls, feeding them Cheetos. Seagulls love Cheetos. <laughs> it's cool, you see people on their, their golf carts over here. Look at the ExxonMobil Ocean Star. It is a beautiful day out here. I'm the only person wearing a mask, too. Because I probably don't need one. These people out sailing without their sails. They're just cruising the currents. I'm so excited to go on a boat tour today. This is so cool. Here's the jet boat taking off. Get to see what this is like. The Showtime Jet Boat Tour. 
It's got music on board. Playing Crazy Train. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Look at these guys. That's a lot of fun. I gotta tell you, that's a lot of fun. You know, those people look like they're having a good time. Look at that, woo! <laughs> yes. I gotta say, when I went on a boat like that in Queenstown, New Zealand, um, you know, the background was a lot nicer than the, <laughs> than the shipyards here in Galveston. Still same, same effect. They went up the river with these great, they call the, the mountain range there, the Remarkables. And the river is in between the mountain ranges and it's just unbelievable. But same, same kind of boat, same kind of high speed turns and it's a lot of fun. Good times. All right, so I, uh, I stopped and talked to the person at the Galveston Water Adventures. Um, the jet boat thrill ride is every day at 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. So that one we saw go out, that's the, oh, look at him spinning around. That's the 4 p.m. ride and it's uh, $35 for adults and $40, $25 for children. Um, I don't remember, 12 and under maybe. Um, great, that's a great price. I paid way more than that in New Zealand. I paid like 100 New Zealand dollars, which is like 80 bucks um, or 75 bucks. Either way, same exact boat, a lot closer to my house than <laughs> Queenstown, New Zealand. Uh, a lot of fun. So every day, two and four, I think you can, you can um, buy the tickets online or you can call. They also have a one hour sightseeing dolphin tour, which, you know, I'm gonna do that with this other company. And then they have a two hour sunset cruise um, that's, that goes at 6.15. I'm not gonna get that because I've already got the six o'clock on this other tour. But uh, the, the uh, jet boat thrill ride, I, I, I recommend doing it. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Here is the Texas Seaport Museum. This is where the 1877 tall ship Alyssa and historic harbor tours are. You learn all about Galveston history at this museum and sign up um, with, here is a plaque for the Battle of Galveston. I do not see the tall ship Alyssa, so she may be out, out on the water, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out. All right, so the tall ship Alyssa is out, but um, it's actually heading back here, so we will see it um, park right here. Um, it is closed to the public until April 22nd, but on April 24th, the Santa Maria from, yes, the Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria will be here, and you'll be able to uh, visit that one uh, also from the 24th through May 2nd. Um, the, the museum is actually closed until June because they are um, adding a new exhibit. So it's closed. The gift shop is open. Um, so we'll take a look at the gift shop and we'll see uh, the tall ship Alyssa sail into uh, her parking spot. It's the gift shop. You can buy hats and bags and fans, neck gaiters, sailor hats, all kinds of fun stuff. Nice merchandise here. Try to get away from the copyright reggae music. Some t-shirts and hoodies. It's like I said, it's a t-shirt economy we're living in. Maps. Oh, you get patches even. Very cool. And here's the, uh, here's the museum is obviously, <laughs> it's obviously under construction. That is a lot of construction here. So it'll be a while before the museum's back open. <laughs> All right, here's the, here's the, uh, see the guy, he's flagging her in. 
And they're closing the property in 11 minutes. So, oh, there we see it. We see it coming around the corner. Oh, look at that. This is awesome. It's actually better seeing her cruise in than to see her just sitting and just sitting here. We get to see her in action and see the guys, the guys reining her in. Wow. You can hear the seagulls squawking, the water splashing up against the pier. What a lovely, what a lovely sight. Look at that boat. I just love all forms of modes of transportation. I think it's so cool. Different ways humans have created to get from one point to another. Boats are just so beautiful. Especially these old tall ship sailboats. That is impressive. Look at all those people pulling the pulling the, the ropes. It takes a whole team to get this to work and you got you got people that uh, were on the afternoon cruise. It's something I guess you could do. But she just told me it's closed to the public until the 22nd of April. Today is the 10th as I'm recording this. There's definitely people staying on there that are just staring. Not everyone's man in the ship. I guess that's the parking spot. I thought I thought she was gonna park right here, but I guess that's that's it right there. Is that where she parks right there? Normally she's parked over here. Okay, that's what I. Okay. Okay, I got it. That makes sense. Thank you. So there you go. Normally she does park right here, but to, but today she's parked there. There we go. That's pretty much it. All right, so I'm gonna come back when uh, the Santa Maria is here and then we can go on both of the ships, right? That's so cool. So, um, yeah, let's see what else is down here. We might we might need to uh, just kill some, kill some time, like, oh, shit, an hour and a half um, before that other ride goes. I can just go back and sit in my car and take a little nap. We'll see. All right, we, get a little, we go a little bit further and we've got the Fisherman's Wharf seafood grill it's the rotary club of galveston people eating out here waiting and uh i think this might just be another part of the the restaurant here yeah just a metal swordfish or something tuna and then that's pretty much it for this for this pier and you can see the uh terminal it's for the cruise ships up here. Cruise ship buses drop off and pick up. So this is where you'd go when you get on or get off to get on a cruise ship. But obviously that's not happening. So let's uh let's go back to uh let's go back to the car. All right, I'm on a boat. <laughs> Loading up the boat. Social distancing, masks aren't being enforced. And yeah. I was not joking. That's right. We have children's life vests underneath the front two seats, adult life vests under the rest. The good news is we never used any of them, not planning on starting today. We also have cold drinks, water, Coach Sprite, Dr. Pepper in the cooler behind the bar on ice. Uh, they've now gone up to $5 a piece due to maritime law since we left it out. Well, he didn't ask y'all if y'all wanted one for a dollar? Oh, well, you can still get one for a dollar. You just got to tell yourself and hand me a dollar. I was only kidding. 
We also have a restroom though. It does not, however, have any running water. So it is a number one only. And if you use it, please put all paper products in the trash. Because you put them in the toilet or you make a mess in the toilet, then the plumber has to deal with it. And he's a grouchy fella. He's like, I can't believe this. Rubber, rubber, rubber. Didn't you tell them? I'm like, yeah, man, I told them. They didn't listen. Well, I don't believe you. on the seat. No sitting up on their heels. Y'all are welcome to put your knees in the seat. Do not run up and down the aisles like a wild banshee. And uh, it got plenty warm right here this afternoon as I have a couple of trips. I'd have to peel my jacket off. And when I say don't throw anything in the water, that means yourself and or your children. That's right. Because I don't want y'all to miss it. I don't just take off for the end of the harbor. We, 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 have, we have a routine here. And uh, Texas Responder, it is an oil spill response vessel. In the event of an oil spill, he'll head out with his barge and several other vessels surrounding the oil spill with oil absorbent booms, creating a containment area. They will then commence to sucking up the oil inside the containment area. They have a separation unit. They can separate the water from the oil. Put the water back in the gulf. Bring the oil in on the barge behind him there to be disposed of properly. The good news is, he's just standing by. Better news is, I've never seen him go to work. Around here like the seawall, they're responsible for that. And the jetties out here. And uh, a lot of the uh, docks and stuff. They're also responsible for surveying the bottom of the harbor and out here in the ship channel uh, to let uh, know when the dredge needs to come in and suck up the... <laughs> now that's universal call for every animal but a cat, right? Cats look at you like you're stupid. Now, can any of y'all make a noise like a dolphin? There you go, that's it right there. That's it. Here, you want to do it on the microphone? Who was that? Is that you? Here, do it. No, call the dog. There you go. Y'all give me a hand. See, you called him. There he is, right there. Here, call him up again. There you go. See, see they told me it's like your mama telling you, right? But you just do it real fast over and over again. Come on, some of you guys know what that sounds like. Hey, honey. Eh. That's right. Here, dumpa, dumpa, dumpa. Come on now. <laughs> Call him up, man. He's right there. Come on, Dolphin. We'll go see if we can find another one, too. More than one would be nice, huh? <laughs> I'd like everybody to see this one, though. So I'm going to turn around. There he is. Right there. You saw him? Oh, you saw the weed? Yeah, the dolphin's over by the dock. Somewhere over there. I'm going to try to turn around here, yeah? Oh, it's okay, Widow. Alright, we're going to back up now. That's a brown pelican right there on the pole. Got some more hanging out here on the dock. They are the Louisiana State Birds. Everybody around here calls them brown bombers. Seen them that time? Yeah, I did. Did the little man see them? Oh, yeah. There's another one. Over there. Awesome. Right there, right there, right there. there it is. Right over there. Right there at the end of the dock there, guys. Right towards the silver boat. There you go, guys. We're going to try to find some more. There she was. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. All right, here we go. This is not the easiest boat in the world to turn around, by the way, guys. 40 foot of pontoons. It's not. Anyway, we were doing it until we first. So, alright. <laughs>
Hang on, dude. Set the seat. I'm going to get out of your way. Come on, sit up there. Because I'm trying to move this thing. I'm going to let you see him, I promise, all right? Besides that, we'll let you drive the boat, too. You want to drive the boat, too? All right, hang on. Here, keep looking right over here. There you go. Keep looking over there while you're driving. There you go. Keep looking right over there. Here, drop it down there. Come on. There he is. You saw it? You almost, okay. That's what I thought. Look, look right towards the boat over there. See right there towards the... There he is, see him? Oh, yeah, the You saw him that time? Can you see him? Okay, now let's turn the boat. Turn the boat, help me out. Come on. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, now you'll be able to see him. He's right there. There he is again. Keep looking right there. Put y'all hands and off before we go, and I don't mind being a little late. So the King Arthur's aluminum hull crew boat. Y'all hang on a little. Uh, it ain't bad. He ain't going that fast. Now keep looking out here to the left. That's where I saw dolphins. Couple of them. Come on, dolphins, come on. <laughs> come on, dolphins. Now that's the sunken ship Selma out there. Oh, yeah. Right there. Right there to the left. Stand up again. It's made out of concrete. It's, 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 it it's made out of concrete. It's a concrete ship, that's right. Now, back in World War One, Dwight Eisenhower, the president at the time, commissioned 21 ships, experimental ships, to be built out of concrete and steel because steel was really expensive, hard to come by. We needed more ships for the war effort. So they experimented. They, they actually completed six ships. Selma was the largest of the six. And she did just fine until uh, she ran aground and ripped a 60-foot hole in the side of her. And they brought her to Galveston to try to fix her. Well, they soon found out that uh, those ships were unrepairable. That's why it wasn't a good idea. Not because it didn't, the concept didn't work. It just, uh, once they got damaged, you couldn't fix them. They wouldn't last, they wouldn't hold. So they tried to repair it twice here in Galveston with some of the best minds and, uh, you know, craftsmen in the world. And uh, it didn't work. So they decided to use her as an experiment on how salt water affects concrete and steel. So they dug out the trench, the, the sandbar there, and drug her up there. She's been there for a hundred years. Wow. And they're still studying her. Steel, it, it, it's kind of, uh, salt water eats everything, okay? I don't care what it is. If it's steel, it'll eat it. Concrete, too. All right. And... Uh, those are some hard-headed dolphins today, guys. Yeah, they're way over there now. There's a bunch of them over there. All right, we're going to go see them anyway. I don't care how late we are. There they are, they're on the left. Dolphin. Straight ahead. Come on, Dolphin Dolphin. Bouncing around. Now they're not scared of this boat, guys. They normally come right to the boat. They were earlier today, too. So I'm just going to take it out of gear. And we're going to sit here for another minute or two and see what happens. On the left now? Yeah, yeah. Over there. Over there. On the left side of the buoy. Yeah. There they are. I think we got like a couple of sets. Hey, they're over here. Nope, we're over there. So I would look 
up both places, guys, because they might dolphins pop up both places. Yeah, Nanda, Nanda. See, he came right next to the boat there. That was close, wasn't it? Oh, man, that was close. He ran almost into the boat, didn't he? <laughs> Hi, young man. If I come up on this side now, they went out to the boat. Yep, they did. So we'll just do another donut here. If y'all didn't bring no Krispy Kreme, we'll just keep doing turbo. Oh, right there. Yep, they're right here, man. You should have been here. Right back here. Come on, young man. Come on, come on, dolphin. Come on. Yeah, there we go. There's the dolphin. There's that footage I was looking for. Yeah, there we go. There they are. Yeah, there we go. Alright, we gotta go. Y'all right wave bye to him. Bye, Dobbins. Thanks for coming. Woo! <laughs> oh, there's three of them! Oh, there you go. Woo! That's awesome. I'm glad you got to see him, young man. Alright, got a ferry boat coming right here. I'm trying to stay out of his way. Got the dolphins right here, too. So we might as well do another donut just because I'm not going to run behind the ferry or run in front of the ferry boat. Alright, here we go. Hook it. Oh, that was close. That was right underneath the boat, huh? Alright, here we go. Now we're going to get some ferry boat weight going on too. Look, there's some people feeding them seagulls still. <laughs> Y'all hang on, we got a big weight here. Here we go, a little right about cowboy style. Yeehaw, cowboys, there you go. <laughs> now we're going to turn it, turn it surface. Here we go. Yeah. Here we go, we got that one. Here we go. Y'all didn't know you could surf a 40 foot though, did you? It's pretty fun though, isn't it? <laughs> we're surfing that way good. So that was that was pretty fun. It was definitely worth ten bucks. Took us out. It was, he was a pretty fun tour guide. Got to see the dolphins, um, which is the goal. Got to see the uh, USS Selma a little closer than if you just drove out to Sea Wolf Park. So anyway, um, yeah, the, the the Baywatch off uh, Pier Twenty One. Watch your step, guys. You'll have a good day. Thank you all for coming. Good. I appreciate it, sir. No problem. Thank have a good one. Thank you all for coming. Watch your step, please. After you, and, sir. Uh, yeah, all these, all these tour guides work off tips. So yes. I don't, uh, I don't really carry cash, but <laughs> I had a buck, so better, better than most of the people gave them. All right. Um, so that's it for my little tour of. Pier 21, I'm gonna come back to uh, to get on the tall ship Alyssa and the Santa Maria. Hopefully um, I can come back um, when those are both here. That's gonna be really cool. I know uh, Manny, you said you wanted to come to Galveston, so when I come back, you're welcome to join me. Until, uh, until next time, remember, drink water, listen to metal, enjoy nature, and have the most epic adventures.